The new Cosmos premiered this past weekend, hosted by Neil deGrasse Tyson, who has my same last name. My last name is also Tyson. For those of you who don't know, this Cosmos is sort of an update to the original 1980 Cosmos by Carl Sagan. And it consisted of 13 episodes which explained the Cosmos, which is... everything. I only saw bits and pieces of it as a kid, and recently I saw a bit of it on National Geographic since they were playing that since the new one was a premiering on Sunday. I never really got super into astronomy or physics, but I always had a little bit of interest in astronomy. As a kid, I was always more into biology and paleontology, hence my nickname. I'd watch stuff like Walking with Dinosaurs and Blue Planet and like anything with David Attenborough. Despite that, I still would watch shows about space and astronomy and stars and planets and everything. Though Cosmos is about much more than that. The first episode of the new series is a lot like the first episode of the original. It's about exploring the universe and the scale of it and where we fit into it. And it eventually leads into the cosmic calendar where we learn, you know, all of human history only occurred in the like past 14 seconds. I mean, last 14 seconds. Like, not literal seconds, the seconds that would be on a cosmic calendar if uh, the 13 point something billion years were into, were divided into 12 months. And then, like, on December 31st, the last 14 seconds would be humankind. So yeah, like, like that. To people who watch the original Cosmos, it's going to be very familiar, but it actually is going to feel kind of dumbed down, too. I really like Neil deGrasse Tyson, but he's not quite as eloquent as Carl Sagan was. Carl Sagan just had a talent for writing, you know, really eloquently. And one thing that really stands out in this series is that it's very, very flashy. Which I guess they want to do since, you know, this is a huge, huge project and it's going uh, across all Fox's channels. Uh, I didn't know that Fox owned Na National Geographic, but I guess they do. I believe it was only the first episode that was going to be broadcast across all their channels, though. All consecutive episodes are going to be premiered on Fox first at 9 o'clock and then on National Geographic the next day. Unfortunately, that runs into The Walking Dead, which is also at 9 o'clock. So, I guess you can watch The Walking Dead and then watch Cosmos on National Geographic the next day, so that works out, I guess. That is, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead like I am. Overall, I'm not really sure how to feel about it yet, because it does feel a bit dumbed down. And like I said, Neil deGrasse Tyson isn't as eloquent as Carl Sagan was. I will, however, continue to watch the series. And I probably should re-watch the original since, you know, I've only seen bits and pieces of, uh, different episodes. So, those are my thoughts. See you next time. And if you like this video, check out these other first impressions in this playlist.